So blood flow restriction involves wrapping a cuff at the top of each arm or top of each leg. And what we do is we restrict blood flow into the muscle and include it out of the muscle. So blood flow is going in, but it's not coming out. And when we do this, what we see is when we apply it just blood flow restriction by itself, we're able to slow down the amount of muscle that's lost uh, during um, uh, post-ACL surgery or something like that where you can't ambulate. Now when you add blood flow restriction with slow walking, we're able to see some increase in muscle size and strength. Uh, but when we combine it with low load resistance exercise, so 20 to 30% of the most weight that you can lift, so very low weights, we're able to see benefits similar to that of high load resistance exercise. Now, most importantly, uh, it's important that this stimulus uh, has been found to be safe and of no greater risk than just uh, training uh, under normal conditions. So not only is it an effective stimulus, it's also a safe stimulus.